Hello, uh, this is a presentation for A-Level Physical Education. A little bit of background to start with. Um, A-Level PE is an academically robust A-Level and it is 70% uh, theory with 30% practical. Um, at the end of the two year course, there are two exams, both of which are two hours, paper one and paper two. study during um, A level PE there's three distinct areas section A, B and C. Section A is applied physiology, section B skill acquisition and psychology and section C is sport and society and within those topic areas we have um, different sections uh, for each and you can see on the slide uh, the sections that are paper one and paper two. Paper one applied anatomy and physiology, skill acquisition, sport and society Paper two, biomechanics, sports psychology, and again, sport and society. I'll go into a little bit more detail on those. Physiology is um, anatomy and physiology. It studies things like the heart, the lungs, the bones, and the muscles, um, and it's all linked towards exercise. Uh, biomechanics is looking at motions and forces to do with sport. Um, we look at a lot of different things in athletics. Um, that kind of thing, interpretation of graphs, exercise physiology, we look at energy systems um, and see how efficient uh, those systems can be. Psychology, skill acquisition will be something uh, fairly new to most people. It focuses on how skill is acquired and the impact of psychological factors on performance. Uh, we look at different uh, information processing models um, and um, that kind of thing. Sports psychology is the mental side of sport. So we look at things like motivation, um, uh, rewards, those kind of things, aggression in sport, that, that kind of uh, topic area. Society and technology. So we look at uh, things about, like history of sport. So we look at how different sports uh, came about and where they evolved from, um, from pre-industrial Britain to, to modern day sport. We also look at things like technology, so things like Hawkeye, for example, and then various ethical issues, so football hooliganism, drugs in sport, games in gamesmanship, that type of thing. Practical performance is 30% um, and it's split into two sections. 15% is uh, your assessment as a performer in a full competitive situation. Uh, this has to be video evidenced and it's moderated by an external moderator. 15% is also, the other 15% is also a written assignment, which looks at uh, your weaknesses in your chosen sport. And then you have to come up with some theoretical ideas of how you would change your weakness and make it and improve it. In school, we offer certain sports that we can assist you with. And there are traditional sports mainly. Hockey, netball, rugby, football, rowing, cricket, swimming, and well, and cricket again. Uh, obviously, if any of if there's anything else there that isn't is, is something that you do and it's on the list, then that's absolutely fine. We can uh, deal with that, and um, it's also fine for sports to be done outside of school as well. So, for example, we've had horse riding and uh, things like that done before, so it all works fine.